Hello everyone. So for today's video, I have a little butterfly for you all. This is a butterfly that I learned how to draw when I was about 11 years old or so. And uh, I have used it many times in my journals and things. It's just a real easy butterfly to do. And uh, I switched it up this time by zentangling inside of it. Now I want to apologize ahead of time. Um, my camera went out of focus a few times because I had it on the wrong setting, so I apologize for that, but I didn't want to just get rid of the footage because it's a really pretty butterfly, so I decided to keep it around anyway. So over the weekend, I went through the comments that have been coming through on my videos, and I noticed that there were quite a few requests for doing tutorials. And I have decided to turn Tuesdays into Tutorial Tuesdays. So each Tuesday I will be going through about three to five patterns and uh, explaining how I do them and create them and how I incorporate them in different entangles and stuff. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that and uh, you'll get some new ideas um, from those patterns that I show you how to do. So if you ever see a pattern in one of my videos and you want me to explain how to do it, um, just leave a comment in the comment section and say, hey Tiffany, at 1 minute and 35 seconds you did this tangle, can you do a tutorial on that? And I'll be happy to add that to my list of tutorials for Tuesdays. So I have recently set up an Instagram account. If you want to follow me on there, uh, my name is Tiffany Lovering, um, and it's all one word for my Instagram username. Uh, link is down below for all of my um, places where you can follow me, Twitter and stuff like that. And um, I actually have a new email address as well if you have any questions or anything like that and you can always inbox me here on uh, YouTube. So over the weekend Allie and I really didn't do too much. We took Jake on a few really long walks because it was beautiful outside and uh, we planted our garden. Um, we had a few starter plants up in a room upstairs and we transferred them into the ground. We're trying to grow some green beans and some little cherry tomatoes. I thought it would be fun for us to do this summer. Um, so we'll see how well they turn out. Um, I've never really tried planting plants like this before and uh, the small house plants that I've had inside haven't really lived very long in the past so I don't know if it will be a complete failure but it'll be fun uh, trying to see if it works out for us. So if you happen to have any tips for some first time planters, uh, leave them in the comments section. Any tips would be greatly appreciated. We really don't want these guys to die on us, but uh, yeah, I'll let you know how they get on and hopefully we'll have some green beans in a couple of months. Allie's school is having an art show the day after tomorrow and she hasn't really told me anything about the project that she's submitting for the art show, so that'll be a fun thing to go see. Um, I'm going to post some pictures on my Facebook and probably on Instagram and Twitter and things. If you want to follow me, you can see what she creates. Um, and she actually, I don't know if I told you guys this yet or not, but uh, there was a competition between all the fifth graders, which is what grade she's in, uh, to get the cover of um, the yearbook or one of six people in the back cover. So she managed to uh, win a back cover spot, so that will be shared with five other people. And uh, her best friend got the front cover, and she was very excited. Um, she said that the person who got the front cover really, really deserved it. So she was really happy with getting the back cover. Um, so I will post pictures of that when they come out at the end of the year. So after creating this tangle, I went back through with my Prismacolor uh, gray marker and did a few highlights here and there. 
And I am really loving this marker. I am actually going to go out and get some more. They're very, very expensive. But um, yeah, I think they're well worth the price. And hopefully I'll be using uh, more colors and things like that as my collection of those markers grow. But it's going to take a while because they're like $5 a marker, which is just insane. And then I colored them in with some uh, Sharpie markers, and the fine point markers, just some pinks and uh, like a sea green for the body. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's tangle. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow.